Hi guys, today I want to address some problems that make even the spenders quit the game in big number. I wanted to talk about this since patch 49 but I didn't have time. The first problem is the medical towers reward. Any dedicated players who climb the old towers to floor 100 like myself get totally screwed after the update because Moonton automatically bring us to floor 186 skipping rewards from 85 floors 85 floors from 5 faction is a whopping 425 floors that we don't get rewards from Moonton explanation is that we've gotten all rewards from the old tower and now here's the thing right when you clear the old tower maximum amount of gems rewards on the floor was 500 you also get one random epic hero every 10 floor which often gave you crappy heroes 10 epic heroes of the dark faction I got from the old tower, there was one at least. One. The rest of them were Hellcurt or Moskov. Now look at the new tower. From floor 125, every 10 floor you get 4 sacred scrolls and millions of experience. 4 sacred scrolls is the equivalent of 2000 gems and you can get the rarest of heroes from them. Basically, if your tower was skipped straight to floor 186, you're missing out 28 scrolls from one tower or 140 scrolls from all five. That's a loss of 70k gems, not to mention the hundreds of millions of experience. The old rewards are inferior to the current rewards. I've played many games with similar tower mode like MLA and they always encourage players to clear as many stages as they can before any change to rewards happen. MLA is the first game to punish players for clearing contents. What's wrong with letting us climbing up from the same floor that we were at before the update? Let me tell you man, had I known this was gonna happen, I wouldn't have bothered doing the old towers at all. But the biggest reason a lot of spenders left the game is this, the skill stone system removal. People spend money to get those stones and the gem compensation was not adequate. That's because the main way to get the skill stones were through summoning. For example, say you do 100 summons. It costs 25k gems. You get 200 green stones, 150 blue stones, 50 pink stones. Now the game is taking the stones away, but they only give you compensation equal to the stones market value, which is a lot less than 25k. Moonton isn't giving you back the full 25k gem because you did get the heroes out of it and they're not taking the heroes away. Next, they introduce a new system that connects to premium and medical summons, the soul vessel. Now you have to summon again for soul materials. But the little compensation doesn't allow you to do the same amount of summons you did before the patch. So in order to get the same advantage, you need to spend again. People are mad about that. Not to mention that their heroes are at Awaken 8 because they were summoning to get skill stones. Who want to summon when your heroes are marks? Moonton's solution was introducing new heroes like Lunox and Jazz. But come on. How many summons do you need to do for one Lunox? A thousand? Two thousand? For me personally, I think the game is heading in the right direction. We're practically playing AFK Arena with better graphics and that's great. But they need to make sure that changes don't unfairly affecting their loyal players. The best compensation they should have done was to give players soul materials equal to the amount of skill stone they got through premium or medical summons, so players don't have to summon again for that. Developers adjust their games all the time, but they don't completely remove a feature and replace it with a brand new one. That's a scumbag move just to force people to spend over and over again. If you plan on spending for MLA, this is a warning for you. This game is one of the most unstable games I've ever played. So many major changes and we're not even at the one year milestone.
All right, the results for Honor should be out. I'm facing Psycho. He was top four in the previous Honor. Oh crap! I lost. Damn, top sixty-four. <laughs> I wonder what happened. Wait. I didn't bet on anybody. Whoa, crap. I didn't update my team in honor. Oh man. I think the system brought over my prawn team. Where? I think I'm in E. Ah. Yeah, the game brought my brawn team over. I was testing Lancelot. You triggered my trap card! Oh shit! Vaxana stopped Lunox from healing herself! She'll never get back up! I see! Man, Lancelot is so useless! I see! That was a really bad match up! I should have moved my... Ah, uh, yeah, but then again, it's the first battle. I don't know what he's going to set his team up. Okay, uh, we lost this fan square. Man, Vexana can counter Lunox. I need to beep up my hell cut. He's dying too fast. Wow, four v five. They managed to beat the Marshall team. See how good Argus is. Okay, we got a Zilong clone. Now we have someone to tank his clean max ultimate. And another clone. <laughs> Vaxana is doing really well, but she's dead. He's shooting at the clone. Man, the dark team did really well. Okay. How did I lose this one? Oh, that gotta die. Come on, Saber. No! <laughs> oh, that is still alive.
Who's making her mad? <laughs> Man. Damn, that was so close. I really need to either promote Leslie or Angela. My tech team needs help. I can't believe I forgot to put Yi Shen Shin back in for the live steal. God damn it. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.